Welcome back. As you may know from my previous video, I have begun a university project which is to open source car diagnostics, making it easier for consumers to diagnose their own vehicles without expensive proprietary hardware or software. Open Vehicle Diagnostics is a car diagnostics and hacking application written in Rust where using the pass-through API for communicating with ODB2 adapt. It currently supports Windows, Linux and Mac OS X, however to use Linux or Mac OS X you will need to use Machina's M2 adapter with my special driver, but it's custom built for supporting Linux and OS X because traditional pass-through adapters only have a driver which supports Windows, since all proprietary diagnostic applications are Windows only currently. That driver is also open source and I'll leave a link below in the description for the code repository. What you are now seeing is me launching the application on my laptop, with my ODB2 adapter connected to my own car. This is a 2006 Mercedes C-Class. The home page currently shows basic information about the software and hardware being used, as well as the adapter's capabilities as reported by the adapter's driver. There is currently a permanent status bar at the bottom of the application window that displays if the adapter is actively communicating with the car and the battery voltage of the car, which is measured by the adapter on pin 16 of the ODB2 port which connects directly to the car's battery. Firstly, let's look at the CAN tracer view. This view allows you to view CAN packets that are currently being picked up by the adapter in real time. The red bytes indicate data which is changing within each packet. Toggling this button allows the display to show the CAN packets in binary form rather than in hex. Now for the automatic UDS scanner. This is based heavily off some work done by Scappy and allows the tool to pick up ECUs in the car that supports Unified Diagnostics Protocol or UDS. OEM's own tools typically have a database of CAN IDs for ECUs in the car that support this protocol. However, since this tool does not have such databases, it has to do an automated scan on the car to pick up ECUs that may support it. This is done by exploiting the ISOTP protocol which I explained in part 2 of my head unit project, I'll leave a link for that as well. To begin with, the tool first wakes up the ODB2 port's CAN interface and listens for existing CAN traffic, so that it does not send a message on the pre-existing CAN ID which would cause faulty traffic to be sent over the car's CAN network. Then it goes about exploiting the ISOTP protocol in order to discover ECUs in the vehicle. This is done by testing each CAN ID, sending an erroneous ISOTP start message to the ECU, which tells it the tool is going to send 256 bytes of data to it, even though the tool is never going to do this. If any ECU on the car is listening to that sent CAN ID, the ECU will then send back a flow control message on a new ID back to the ODB2 port, which is picked up by the tool. This flow control message tells the tool how quickly to send data to the listening ECU. By doing this, it is possible to make all the ECUs in the car expose their usually hidden diagnostic CAN addresses. Lastly, once the scan is complete, Open Vehicle Diagnostics will then attempt to send a tester present UDS message to the ECUs it discovered, and if they respond back with a valid format UDS response message, the tool knows which ECUs in the car support UDS. If no response is heard in time, the tool assumes the ECU does not support UDS at all. This is as far as the tool currently tests the ECUs, however in the very near future I will be adding support for running more UDS commands on the ECUs, which allows the user to scan and clear error codes found on all the ECUs in the vehicle. Now this is well and good, however my car is quite old, so here's a demo of it running on a vehicle which is a lot more modern. Alright, so here's something a bit more modern, this is a Lexus NX300H, let's just go take the adapter and find where the ODB port is on this. There we go. Let's see what this has to do now. Since this car is very modern, it also supports ODB diagnostics over CAN bus. Currently, Open Vehicle Diagnostics only supports ODB over CAN bus, however I will be adding K-Line support for older vehicles soon. Clicking the test button shows the car's VIN number, as well as some decoded information from the VIN number. It also shows all the PIDs that can be currently polled from Service 01, which allows for live data viewing from the engine's ECU. Opening up the CAN scanner in this car shows that my UI was clearly not designed for this much data. In total there were over 140 different CAN IDs being picked up by the adapter in this car, compared to 16 CAN IDs in my own car. Opening up the UDS scanner in my car works as normal, I'll speed up the scanning process here.
This result was unexpected, it appears it only found two UDS compatible ECUs in the car, however this might be explainable. In modern cars, there is so much CAN traffic that the car has network gateways installed to filter traffic, therefore I believe these IDs the tool has found are actually the gateways and not the specific ECUs. Thanks for watching this little demo video, and if you liked it, consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.